welcome back to the channel thank you so much for tuning in today for subscribing for commenting for liking for all your support thank you so much and if it's the first time welcome to the channel my name is Daphne please make sure that you do subscribe if you're not subscribed and also click the notifications bell so welcome to another prayer video and today we want to look into creativity grace for creativity I don't know if you've watched uh, documentaries about animals or about the sea the creatures of the sea if you look at maybe just nature if you look at everything that God has created we see how God is so creative uh, if you look at some of the creatures you just wonder how and why and how <laughs> did God do this because he's such a creative creator and if you look at each other we are so different from each other different races nationalities with over 7.8 billion people we can see how God is so so creative and I believe that he can give us that grace I believe he is the creator of creation creatives and I believe that he can give you that grace today he can give you and I grace skill to be creative we are entering a time like we prayed last week we're entering into a time where you need to be creative a time when you cannot rely on the government a time when you cannot rely on your job a time when we really need to rely on God and God is able to give you that creativity today to start new things new inventions new ideas new concepts new ways of doing things that have already been done or things that 20 million people are doing today God can make you stand out he can give you skill wisdom and understanding that can set you apart from others doing the same thing I'm reminded of Jeremiah prophet Jeremiah and prophet Daniel these were prophets living in the same period of time but we see how these prophets are so different from one another Jeremiah is a completely different prophet from Daniel the prophet but yet they lived in the same time facing the same tribulations of Babylon facing the same government of Babylon facing the same rules of Babylon but yet they were unique yet they were authentic yet they walked in their true purpose true calling true identity and they ran according to their own pace and I believe that it grieves God when we copy one another it grieves God when we don't really walk in our true authentic selves it grieves God when we don't know who we are we don't try to be ourselves we don't do the things that God is buried inside of us maybe we don't know those things maybe you don't know those things God is buried inside of you but I believe today as God begins to deposit this grace I believe it's gonna to reveal to you who you are how you need to walk what you need to do because it's grace it's ability it's a skill and I'm just gonna read from the book of Daniel chapter 1 uh, and we want to base our prayer based on these promises based on these testimonies the Bible is speaking of Shadrach Meshach and Abednego and also Daniel this is when they were taken into captivity and the king at that time the king of Babylon he wanted good-looking people but not just good-looking people who are empty inside he wanted people that are filled with wisdom people that are quick to learn people that are intelligent people that possess knowledge these guys were not just walking empty shells they had substance inside intelligence ability skill knowledge wisdom and this is what we want to pray for today the Bible tells us in verse 17 that as for these four young men God gave them knowledge and skill in all literature and wisdom and Daniel had understanding in all visions and dreams now according to the context God was giving them this understanding because of the timeline the time frame and the kingdom that they were in they had to serve the king of Babylon and so they needed understanding in literature they needed understanding in wisdom so God is giving them according to the need at hand but in this generation there's a need at hand in the economic climate there's a need at hand for the children of God in the kind of society and generation that we live in they might not be a king of Babylon but there's a need at hand when there's a pandemic and there's different COVID variants there's a need at hand so we are praying according to the need at hand in the time that we're living in we're not living in the time of Babylon anymore but we're living in this 21st century there are needs in society there are needs in the economy there are needs in our environments there are needs in politics there are needs in the government there are needs in schools there are needs in our careers in the business world there are needs in the Hollywood world there are needs in every sphere of influence in the time that we're living in so we need creativity it's a grace it's a power 
And I have to I have to share this so that we understand when we pray because we don't just want to pray blindly. We need to pray with knowledge. Knowledge that there's a need. Knowledge that the Father is able to give just as he gave. Knowledge that God does not delight in us copying one another, but God delights in us being authentic. If we look at creation, look at everything that he has done from the beginning, we see that God delights in authenticity. He delights in us having an, an identity and in walking in our true selves. God delights in that. So today we want to pray for grace to be creative according to the need it had and God is able to use anybody you don't have to look a certain way but you have to use your best self walk in your best self don't look at your flaws don't look at what you cannot do and your weaknesses God is able to use what he has given you use the best of you and remember that this grace to be creative is not to benefit self only but it's to bear for the benefit of others normally when God uh, gives somebody something special it's for them to use it not just for themselves but to benefit others God is constantly thinking of other people so we need to step outside of that a mind frame of selfishness that mind frame of me 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 when we pray these kind of prayers because it's not just for self that you're being creative but it's also for the sake of others it's also to help other people so we want to pray the same God that gave Shadrach Meshach and Abednego and Daniel wisdom knowledge skill um, understanding in all dreams and visions, he can also do the same for us today. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we honor you. We bless you. We thank you for this time you've given us once more, oh God, to come boldly before your throne of grace. Oh God, there's nothing too small, nothing too big. Oh God, we are not afraid. Father, we thank you for giving us grace to come before you, mighty God. Thank you for allowing us to come before you, I and your people who are called by your name. And Lord, we have a need today. We have a request, mighty God. And you already knew this before we prayed. But Lord, because of the climate we are living in, because of the generation we live in, because of what is happening in society, in, in the economy, in the financial markets, oh God, in different arenas of influence and life, Father, we are praying today. We are asking according to your mercy, according to your grace, for grace to be creative, for creative grace, mighty God, for your people and I. Lord, in the days of Daniel, you gave Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego according to the need, according to the need at hand, which was to serve before king of Babylon. Lord, you gave them wisdom and understanding in all literature, all literature. Lord, you made them to stand out above the magicians, above the skilled men who are educated. Oh God, you made them to stand out because of a spirit of excellency. Oh God, even Daniel, you gave him understanding. Oh God, in all dreams, oh God, in all visions. Lord, I pray for your people today. These things that you have buried inside of them. Lord, let your grace to be creative. Bring those things out that they can rely on your spirit and no longer on the government, no longer on their jobs, no longer on things that are subject to change in this climate. But Father, to rely on you, the unchanging God, according to your power, according to your grace, Lord, let your power arise, arise in them. Grace grace to be creative grace to not copy one another father grace to be authentic grace to be skilled to be skilled according to where you have strengthened them to be skilled oh god wherever that you have planted them father help them to rise to rise in this knowledge skill wisdom and understanding father help them to do things in a supernatural way supernatural ideas supernatural concepts oh god supernatural ability oh lord we pray in the name of jesus the name that is above every other name lord let them stand out in their generation let them stand out in their families oh god let them stand out in their jobs let them stand out in their careers oh god let them stand out lord in their towns and their cities father let their names even rise according to your grace according to your grace and mercy father this we pray and petition in the name of jesus the name that is above every other name lord we pray for unction 
action Lord action wherever you've placed them action oh God supernatural action in the name of Jesus the name that is above every other name father we give you glory we give you honor because we know that with you nothing is impossible thank you for grace to be creative in a generation of photocopies in a generation of competition in a generation oh God of mediocrity in a generation where people are caricatures of themselves father thank you for grace not just creativity but authenticity boldness confidence power oh God and even love father we thank you that even your love will disperse your would disperse fear in the hearts of your people they will no longer be afraid to walk in their true selves even if it looks different father we thank you we thank you we bless you in the name of Jesus Holy Spirit continue to teach us and help us as we grow in this grace of creativity as we grow in this grace help us to never give up help us to continue to walk help us to to learn and to be teachable Holy Spirit help us as we grow in this grace as we multiply in this grace today thank you oh God that it is done in the name of Jesus the name that is above every other name in Jesus name I thank you father I thank you for the doctors that are rising up the lawyers Father, thank you for the entrepreneurs that are rising up, even the ministers that are rising up. Oh God, oh Father, I thank you for the new things that you're doing, the new things that you're depositing even by your angels right now, even this very week. Mighty God, I thank you. Thank you for your people that are rising in different arenas of life according to your grace and power not the ability of men not the ability of women not the ability of promotion but the ability of your spirit oh god that they stand out thank you for the spirit of excellency oh god that even shows forth oh god your glory and your power in the lives of your people father we bless you we thank you mighty god Thank you, Father. Thank you for authenticity. Thank you for people that are rising, people that are shining brighter in this season. Oh God, when things are subject to change, but you are the God that never changes. Oh God, like in the days of Daniel, you are raising up your people. Oh God, from glory to glory. Oh God, for your glory. Oh God, for your adoration and your majesty. Oh Lord, thank you. Thank you for perfection. Oh God, thank you for perfection. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, perfecting their skills and their gifts thank you father for your loving kindness you are the God that does exceedingly abundantly above all we ask for or imagine father thank you for doing abundantly more than we have asked in this prayer oh God in the name of Jesus the name that is above every other name in Jesus name we pray we give you glory in Jesus name amen and amen glory to God amen Amen. So God bless you. And God is so, so, so good. I'm so excited for you to rise. I'm so excited for you to shine. Arise and shine. Sometimes the things that God is doing will be very different. So you have to be willing to just do them. Sometimes these things may seem maybe too small, but do them and you see how God will raise you up. You know, when I say too small, for example, God is telling you to do something that has to do with confectionery so things like sweets or chocolates <laughs> you know they may seem like small little things but remember whatever god gives you he can multiply it so god bless you take care Bye -bye.